does what does the event mean to you personally? Well, um, I've had some memorable matches at SummerSlam. I beat Chris Benoit to become the uh, youngest world heavyweight champion in history back in 04 at SummerSlam. It, was, uh, it wasn't in LA at the time, it was at, uh, in uh, Toronto, actually. But uh, more than that, I, I think the first pay-per-view I was ever in was uh, the SummerSlam where they debuted the Elimination Chamber. So that was really cool for me, though part of my career I'll never forget. But, uh, you know, everyone has a memory from SummerSlam from one, one, one point or another, whether they were watching as fans or whether they performed themselves. And I guess you've always been part of the industry growing up uh, with your father. Um, what, what memories have you got of SummerSlam as a, as a kid? Well, just watching the behemoths of, of men that, you know, I'm, here I am, five, six, seven years old, watching these guys. And uh, it was amazing. And not only did I watch them on TV, but they'd be around the house. Uh, my mom would cook. You know, we break bread for him. My mom cooked dinner, and uh, you know, Greg the Hammer, Valentine, Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan, Snooker, all these guys, Hillbilly Jim, Piper, everybody, come to the house, and it, it was pretty cool. You know, to feel like I had all these giant uncles that had my back. You know, if I ever needed it. Yeah. And you talk about these behemoths, your uncles, if you like. Do you think the industry is changing? Like part of the, the story of SummerSlam this year is Daniel Bryan, who's like an internet darling, claw, clawing his way up the ladder to the world title picture. Do you think that's kind of changes is upon us? Yeah, yeah. Um, you're talking purely about just the size of the uh, competitors, right? Yeah, I mean, and indie performers as well, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Guys are more well-rounded maybe than they were back then, and, and and more guys are expected to be able to carry an interview or to talk on the mic or you know, WWE films is throwing guys in movies. You know, I did one last year. I had about 20 hours of acting experience, so it's just, it's it's it is a different age and the talent's different the guys yeah they might be smaller but i think just nowadays you know weighing 300 pounds isn't great for your heart if you're not necessarily built to weigh 300 pounds so you know we got guys that are streamlined aerodynamic running their stamina and uh uh you know yeah so whatever yeah and uh, <laughs> I thought she was talking to me. No, that's fine. And uh, you talk about the films. Uh, you did yeah. one last year. Uh, any more films in the pipeline for you? No, not right now. Um, I'm happy to just be in the ring. Um, the last film, it was great, but, you know, I, uh, I had to wrestle at the same time, so I didn't have a day off for five weeks, and that was hard. Um, if I do another film, it would be great, but I would just do the film. I would tell them I can't do both. Yeah. you got a family, right? I do have a family, yeah. You talk about the travel and the you know the schedule. You're you're on the road like 300 days a year. Is that right? 300, maybe 250. 250. That's still quite a lot. Um, what's the craziest thing that's happened to you on the road when you've met a fan? You can't go into it, no. Oh, uh, probably. I mean, I don't even know, bro. I've forgotten more crazy shit than I got. Uh, I got hit in the balls last week in South Africa. Yeah, did you? I think everybody did. My fucking doctors, I mean, everybody, everywhere I go, hey, are your balls okay? Um, but, you know, other, I mean, yeah, that was pretty crazy. I think and that's the first time that's ever happened, ever. So that wasn't a work, no? No, no. We pressed charges and the guy's in jail still. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you think it was a work? No, but there's a lot of internet rumors, isn't there? Because yeah. you sold for him and everything. The, the internet, well, he hit me in the balls. Yeah, yeah. Imagine standing on a tight a tight rope and about to extend your arms out in the open to do your pose that people have recognized for almost a decade after a match that you have won in South Africa at the beginning of a five-day tour. And as you're completely in your own little world going, oh, I'm so glad it's over because I can't wait to get back to my hotel and take a shower and eat some catering, you get hit in the balls. What would you do? You'd probably fall over, break your neck, and die. I had the wherewithal to make sure I fell inside the ring. But either way, what you might conceive as a work or a shoot, like you have no idea what's real and what's not. When we, you, you, you could not, you know what I mean? But common sense would tell you that this little skinny runt that looks like a local South African guy wearing shoes and jeans and one raggly elbow pad did you, did, did you recognize him like be from being on the run? No. So you thought it was a work because you read it on the internet? No, no, I didn't think. I just. Oh, okay. I just read the right, right. Rumors. I love the internet. 
It's changed the industry, hasn't it? Oh, strange indeed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, yeah. I, I sure as hell didn't sell for the fucking guy. Um, I wish I would have kicked him harder in the face. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We good? We're going to wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. Lovely to meet you. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.